Okay? The shrines are free. You can also use a VPN or an ad blocker. Here's the fucking ad break now. When John and Peng Dang need a Nanan Noye Of course, people will always be concerned when people do surgery, but it's an individual decision and it's a choice that you make. Okay, at least if this motherfucker learned how to. Just so it's clear, you can still call an MB a guy if they're AMAB and don't specifically specify otherwise. Trans chatter, by the way. Thank you, IFM Robot Thought. Wait, what is a. Uh, what's AMAB? All oh, mods are bad. No, what is it? I don't know what that is. Signed male at birth? I mean, guy is gender neutral for the most part. Depending on, hey guys, or you guys, or this guy. That doesn't mean like this male. And I think that's what the chatter was trying to specify. Like, guy and dude in some specific, uh, in, in, depending on the context, can be considered, can be considered gender neutral. AMAB, all males are bastards. Honestly, even you... Calling us boys sounds gender neutral. Yes. When I say, what's up, boys? That's it for today, boys. Things like that. I don't mean that in, like, everyone here is a male. I mean that as, like, you know, dudes. I mean, uh, you know, gender neutral boys. The boys. We're the boys. You know what I mean? a lot of thought process so it's not something you would ever rush into lovely to see you again sir nobody actually knows what i'm doing here i've got to keep it under wraps just because every time i have surgery i always find it much easier to explain after the procedure just so people don't worry i'm in very safe hands in korea i know it's the best in the world for plastic surgery i'm not nervous i'm just super excited hello dr yun manasa bangkapsimnida how are you doing shall we come in Thank you so much. My doctor, Dr. Yoon, he's a complete specialist in facial contouring. I know some people don't understand plastic surgery, but it's certainly becoming a lot more normalized around the world. And at the end of the day, I'm doing what makes me happy. I'm following my dreams. The nostrils. Are if guys is gender neutral, you'd fuck a guy, right? Maybe. If we're referencing a, a woman as a guy, then yeah. very uneven and it just looks very big and bulbous so i want like a very cute k-pop nose yeah. and a very you thought you were gonna you thought you were gonna trap me that's why i said fucking that's why i literally said contextually appropriate like if i go this guy and i'm actually talking about a woman i'm gonna fuck this guy and i'm talking about a woman then yeah Nice gotcha, though. A cute, uh, smaller face. So that's kind of the surgeries I'm looking for. I'm not actually changing my race. I have a deep respect for Korean culture. It's cultural appreciation, not cultural appropriation. Why should it be an issue when someone can change to Kim Kardashian? Like, thousands and thousands of women do that. Korean people love me. They're very kind to me. They're very nice. I mean, that shit's kind of weird, too. Dog, that doesn't make your situation better. Also, a better argument here could literally be that, like, Kim Kardashian and a lot of other, like, Instagram influencers engage in uh, extreme versions of, like, uh, kind of similar to, well, not as extreme as, like, what this person did, ultimately, but, like, uh, a lighter version of that.
called black fishing. So that's also kind of weird too. At least like, I mean, I guess at least they don't say that they're like black now though, except for Rachel Dolezal, my queen. Nice, they don't have a problem with it. The UK is a very free society, but there's always that judgment there. People, you know, look at you in a certain way and think, God, why does he look like that? Why has he got the blonde hair? Why does he do the surgery? Yeah, so strange that they're saying those things about you. Hair, why does he do the surgery? What? Okay, we get it. You wouldn't fuck a guy. I mean, I would, maybe. I am finally back in London. So it's now been two months uh, since my surgery and I've healed so much. The swelling went down so quickly. So now we're off to a restaurant to meet some of my best friends and they're gonna see my new face for the first time. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm sure they're gonna be a bit shocked about how many procedures I've done. Hi guys, and young is Hi. Hi. It's me, Ne. Oh my god. How are you? Oh my It's me. The hair, first of all. Oh my god. Without the mask, without Jamie, I didn't know it's you. You didn't know it was me? Oh, I thanks, Lucian. I've got something to tell you guys. You might not take it well. Yeah, take it. Take it well. I knew oh it. Oh my god. I my knew face. it. Oh my, oh my god. god. I know. It's a lot different. I Look know. Different. Like, not even. Just what worse. Like, you don't even look that different. You just look worse. Your mother. <laughs> I, haven't I haven't told her yet. So. I don't know why you look very natural. Well, you're just going to get a nose bump done or something. You've got a child's face. Or something. <laughs> I'm so happy, guys. Um, Basically, I got, I'll tell you what I got. So I got a rhinoplasty, which was fixing my nose That's again. That's what I was having, yeah. And then I also got an alloplasty, which is the base of my nose to make the nostrils Sorry. more even. So cute. cute. Yeah, really cute. Very cute. And then I also had my cheekbone reduced. Basically, they cut in my hairline down to here, open up the skin and shave the bone down. Oh, oh my God, somebody said he, they look like Ghislaine Maxwell. Yo, straight up, dude. You're right. They do. It wasn't even painful, it's no problem. Was it? No, it was fun. I've also done chin contouring. So I had a genioplasty with a T osteomy, which is basically shaving down the bone of my chin to make Why? it sharp Why? and uh, you know, having an augmentation just to make it more cute. But I've also done more surgery. All K-pop stars have a very sharp V line. Very painful because it's shaving the bone from the inside of the mouth. Ooh. You know, now my face is smaller, it's cute, I look younger. You look like animation character. <laughs> what? Where does it end though? Where's it gonna end? Jason, you know it makes me happy. Like, look, I look 18 now. <laughs> no. What the fuck? No, dog, you don't look 18 at all, dude. Oh, no, 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 no. They said, I look 18 now. <laughs> nope. So I can hide my real age. So, um, which is, which is, which is I nope. can't actually remember my age. <laughs> I think I'm, I think I'm 19. I'm 19. Yeah, 19. I'm almost done. Just need to do my eyes, a little almost, eyebrow lift. Almost. Almost done. <laughs> almost. almost done. Look what happened to Michael Jackson. Well, I'm not you Michael Jackson. I'm Jimmy. I'm not Michael Jackson, I'm Jimin. I'm not, not going that far. Ollie. I'm Oli. Oh, no, 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 Pepe La. They did not know. Okay. No, 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 I'm not going that far. I'm not going that far. They would go that far. Oli Ayo. <laughs> Almost like the day that Barcroft got released, your life began. It began. It began, you know, it, it changed my life for the better. I've turned into a butterfly. I'm always going to be the same person inside 
actually through surgery, it improves the real me because I really show myself more, I show my true colours. So it really brings out the real Ollie. Yes, their friend is cute. No, I'm glad that we got wealth hoarding. Like, intergenerational wealth is so sick. It gets used... It gets used for incredibly important things, like, uh... uh funding the, the uh, genuine complications that this person has. And their personal uh degeneracy and also uh all these issues that they have wait there's more ah uh, it's horrible i can't it's very hard to look at it wait when did i was i just watching this I want my entire lifestyle to revolve around K-pop and I want my entire look to look like Jimmy and the lead singer of BTS. Oh yeah, the link is timestamp. That's so weird. What the fuck? For me, he's perfection. I just kind of want to look like him. Wait, we did watch this. I want to look like a K-pop star. I'm trying to replicate it. Oh wait, no, we didn't. Um, BTS debuted in 2013, and I was actually living in Korea at the time. So I was just amazed by all of them. They were perfect. Jimin is the lead vocalist. This is his current hairstyle at the moment. That's why I'm trying to replicate it. I want to said murder, please. It's less disturbing. <laughs> It's great. I'm gonna be him, but I also have a crush on him. Like, to be honest, all K-pop stars are so beautiful. These are some of my shoes. These ones, they're very, very, very striking, especially with the spikes. A lot of K-pop stars wear this um, particular brand as well. Now, these ones were expensive for 1,600, 650, 700, 790. This one was is my most expensive clothing item. It was 7,000. Now, this one, I wear all the time. Imagine someone here got plastic surgery to look like you and then presented themselves to you. What would you think? I would fucking call the authorities, okay? Like, look, I'm an influencer, all right? So, like, people might start dressing a certain way because they're watching the stream. Uh, I try to be a positive influence on all of the people that are watching. So, like, you know, hopefully people are going to the gym, working out, taking better care of themselves, stuff like that. You know? That's entirely different than just being like, I'm going to fucking be you and I'm going to change my face to look like you. You know what I mean? Time, it's Roberto Cavalli and Jimin actually wore this in the fake love video. So I'm super obsessed. I wear it all the time. So yeah, this is very special to me because obviously Jimin wore the same one. So I mean, the K-pop stars have so much pressure on them before they even become famous. They have to train for four years. Um, they live together. They have to train eight hours a day. It's all manufactured the way they look, the way they perform. They all look incredibly perfect. And when I actually watch their videos, I cry just because they're so beautiful. That one is actually an original photo of me. I'm trying to think how long ago this was. Jesus Maybe like seven Christ. years ago, eight years ago. I was always uh, like insecure because to be honest, I had very bad acne when I was at school and I had a very my nose was very big. That's when I actually decided, look, I need to change myself now and um, you know, be a lot happier. Uh, it's horrible. I can't, it's very hard to look at it. I don't even recognize the person. I, can't, I just don't even seem to relate to this person. It's, it's weird. I remember, I remember when I took the picture and everything, but it just doesn't seem like it was me. I had all of the fatty tissue removed from my chest. Um, so you can still see I have um, the scars and it's still very sore. Um, I've also had a blepharoplasty, which basically was work on my eyelids for rhinoplasties, um, angle reduction, which is basically a jawline surgery. I also have a silicone chin implant here. So yeah, probably about 75k in total just on the procedures. Get the fuck out of here, dude!
Yeah. I'm going to see my doctor today about how she can make me look more like my idol, Jimin. I wonder at which point are, are like plastic surgeons taking advantage of people with body dysmorphia? Like it feels unethical. Like, do you do you look at it from a dollar amount? I think like seventy five k. That's when you're. That's when you're actually like you know taking advantage of people, right? Remember I showed you two mm -hmm. different guys that said they need to look like this mm -hmm. one? Yeah. I like this yeah. shape of his mm -hmm. face and also the eyes as well. Mm -hmm. Because he's a Korean yeah. a star, it's much more rounded than Caucasians yes. faces in general. Yeah. There's more fat, t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, is there any way you could make my eyes... Bro, what the fuck? Yo, yo, that's your... Not this person, but the fucking this doctor, dude. Look at this. Yeah. There's more fat, t-shirt. Yeah, is there any... Okay, bro. What the fuck, dude? What the fuck, dude? That's your doctor. Any way you could make my eyes look more like that kind of shape? Like that? Yes, shape. that is that is doable. One possibility. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, you got that one there. <laughs> Oh, this, yeah, this is, um, this is actually the guy, just yes, so you can yes, see yes. The, the face shape. I just kind of want to um, look like him. So we're going to a little bit give you volume back on okay. the cheek area. Dr. Faramars Didar. <laughs> oh, is he Iranian? Oh, uh, that's so gonna good. Get, help with your eye area. So will... He's going to push it up a little bit. Right, that sounds really good. Thank you, Dr. Good, Dida. good, yeah. good. Bro, look at his fucking, look at his hands, dude. Really good, thank you, Dr. Good, Dina. good, yeah. good. This dude reminds me of my grandfather, okay? I see fucking hands like that. I'm not trusting a doctor, okay? This motherfucker's got no precision in those goddamn Turkish looking potato farmer ass hands, dude. Look at that. Straight up. My man's got the beefiest hands, dude. No shot. I don't want that motherfucker coming near my face with a needle, dude. Are you crazy? Yes, very good. <laughs> I am going to come now with a big needle. Area, uh -huh. which is going to little bit help with your eye area. So it's going to push it up a little bit. Right. That's push it up a little bit. Dude, he's got... He literally... <laughs> He's got the fucking gold chain. Sounds really good. Thank you, Dr. Good, Dina. good, yeah. good. Hassan really like Hassan really dislikes Persians. No motherfucker. One of the danger here is yeah. you don't know what you're doing. You can make people blind. Yeah. Really? From this procedure? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You've given me the, the eyes. That is incredible. So that's the way you want it, yeah? Yeah. Wow. Just changes the shape of my face as well. And like this as well looks incredible. I can't, can't move my face much to smile right now, but I'm very happy inside. <laughs> Wow, honestly, but like this. Bless you. Thank you, honestly, Dr. Diddar, you're the best. Thank you. Bless and Jana, Let honestly, me take this out. I want to look like a K pop star, and they happen to be Korean. I just find them incredibly beautiful. But I actually look Korean now. Oh, yeah. And I actually look <laughs> Korean. like that. And you put the Korean injection in me, I, I feel Korean. Wow. Just like Jimin. Well, I'm not exactly. Dude, he kind of looks like Dave Bautista here, like Persian Dave Bautista. Iranian Dave Bautista. Thank you. Let's and Jana, Let me... You know what I'm talking about? Take this off. I want to.
like from fucking Guardians of the Galaxy and all this shit, like the latest Zack Schneider movie. Look like a K-pop star, <laughs> and they happen to be Korean. I just find them incredibly beautiful. I actually look Korean now. Come on, he does look like Oh, yeah. I actually look <laughs> Korean. So like that. And you put the Korean injection in me, I, I feel Korean. Wow. <laughs> just like Jimin. Well, I'm not exactly changing my race. Like, I, I'm not saying that I want to be Asian as such. I'm always going to be, you know, British, Caucasian. But I would like to look as close as possible. Oh, interesting. You know, things change. Things change. Possible to Koreans, like Korean pop stars and uh, Jimin. <laughs> So nice to have a glass of champagne, right, guys? Celebrate, I know. I call my friends and family, they think I shouldn't change anything, but I'm extremely headstrong, so if I, you know, if I want to make a change, I will do it. So what do you guys think of the new look then? It's obviously very different. Like, what do you think? The eyes are, it is taking me a little bit of time to adjust to, actually, because, yeah, it's... Do you know it's still me? Do you feel like it's still me, or do I look more like Jimin? I, I don't ever want to picture you like this pop yeah, star, yeah, to be honest. Yeah. You're upset. A little bit because I really. You're upset as well. Yeah. I really like, just don't want you to get to a point where you can't undo anything. I mean. We do support you, but of course we do. concern with you on the last few. And Thank you, Kofi. Thank you. Your yeah. You know, I'm not going to get addicted. Um, <laughs> I think we're past that. I think we're past that, Ollie. Yeah. You think I'm addicted? Do you um, not think you're addicted? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've done that much, you know. Yo, notice how these friends were nowhere to be found in later videos? I wonder why. What happened to them? But it's just, I want the perfect face. You know, I don't think it's an addiction. I just think it's a, I have a strong interest in pursuing my, my goal. They don't. I've they never don't do heard it. of anyone doing this eyes. Really? It's a very common thing in uh, Korea. Yeah, in Korea. I know. We're, not, we're in London. We're not, we're in, not in Korea. Korea I know, but you know I'm obsessed with Korea. I, I know, do. both of you. I know I you're actually. I don't want you to start looking I know. to, to you know, Kendall. That's yeah. my. That's thing. not my goal. I want to look Korean. I don't know what's worse. I don't know what's worse. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's worse. <laughs> I don't know what's worse. <laughs> <laughs> don't know what's worse. Oh, Who even is this Jimmy? Jimmy. So I need to find a really unusual piece. Like all of these are very, very, very Jim in. That's very cool. This is what Jim in looks like. Wow. Oh wow, so same. Oh wow, so it worked. <laughs> oh, K-pop stands, I'm just kidding. Please don't murder me. That was just a joke, okay? Benjamin, okay, Stanjamin twice. Do you think I look a little bit, you think I look like Jimin a little bit, like? Oh, yeah, I think so. Your makeup is more, uh, like, I think it's a little over. Oh, maybe too much makeup no, too much. for Jimin, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Wait, they just went and found a Korean person. Or, I mean, I don't even know if they're Korean. It's just like an Asian person. They just be like, do I look like Jimin? Hello, random Asian person. Do I look like Jimin? The next thing that I'm going to do is I want, again, a revision rhinoplasty to make my nose uh, a lot smaller, a lot narrower. 
um, I wanted to get a lateral canthoplasty, which it's cutting incisions here and kind of um, cutting the skin out and then moving it across just to make the eyes more of an almond shape. So I don't want to look like a normal person. I want to look like a kind of super human kind of K-pop doll, just like uh, Jimin, so yeah. One in the chat said least racially insensitive British person. Mom wants to look like a blow up doll. I'll never stop modifying my body. Dude, I can't watch these. I remember why I stopped watching these. This is just so gross. Like so wildly gross, dude. Incredible stuff. I like the murder videos because at least some of the criminals will get mental help they desperately need. I don't know about that. Michael says he's getting Hassan surgery. Oh no. You're hot just the way you are, dude. Click my links. What is it, little Krish? What do you got? What, what the fuck? Peepo sad. Click my links. Rice gum. Pepe la rice gum. Or you know we follow each other, right? Like, like he could just DM me. Like he, you don't need to like send me clips. Check Hassan's stream. What, he talking shit? Go to Hassan's stream. He talking shit. Bro, yo, I'm about to be in LA. Um, dude, why is he not front page? He usually is. Twitch love him. Yo. He usually is. I've literally never been front page. Also. Also. Not dark mode, dude. L. Okay. Light mode. L. Yo, this is fan behavior, bro. This is fan behavior, bro. Oh, he's reacting. Bro, this Rice is... Gum Entertainment. Bro, what the fuck? Let's ball gum in the paint. Hassan about to get his shoes stuck. This was a cinematic masterpiece. Shaking my head right at the humble Bryce Hall. Now we got this Hasanabi dude. Hasanabi. Hassan thinks he can block his jumpers on weak. Yo, this these is, guys are... This is sick. This is sick. Yo, we're gonna 1v1. Yo, that's Durham Operations. Hi, right, yeah. why did you send me a 14 minute video, bro? Are you crazy? Why did you send me a 14 minute video? You fucking weirdo. Lil Krish. Explain yourself. You were actually literally prompt rage for the dream. Drama? Fuck you mean literally never? Wait, what do you mean I was front page for the dream drama? When I was talking to Dream, I was on the front page of Twitch, really? Last time I was on the front page of Twitch, I was on the front page when I was on when I um what do you call it? When I did the Borat uh Yeah, when I did the Amazon ad and I did the Borat like uh watch party. That's it. Wait, one last Ollie London vid? Okay, one last one. I'm doing everything I can to look like Jimin, to have his skin, to have his facial structure. To have his skin. Yeah, he means it. He literally to means have everything. It. My ultimate goal is to look like Jimin, my idol from BTS. I've spent about $150,000 to perfect from BTS. my image. This is the most, like, honestly, this is the most mentally sane British person, dude. He's got it together. They've got it together. When you look at Jimin, you can just instantly fall in love. His lips just look so luscious and kissable. Just on my lips alone, I get them injected every three weeks. Over the years, my lips would be $20,000. I've had my jawbone completely shaved down. 
I have my chin bone shaved, cut off and reattached. I've got titanium screws and brackets to keep my chin in place. I had my eyes done, but now I want to change that to make my eyes more almond shaped, just like Jimin. I also have my cheekbone reduced. I've also been perfecting my nose. My nose, I've actually had surgery five times. I've had so many procedures, like my whole face is numb, but I love it, it's such a great feeling. My chin, I can't even feel, I can just feel the metal inside my face. My cheeks, I have no feeling at all. So when I smile, it actually feels uncomfortable. So doing this, it's, it's, it's weird. If I'm like so kissing sad. my cardboard Jimin or kissing one of my Jimin pillows, like I can't feel anything, it's terrible. I actually love being in recovery. I love lying in bed with bandages. I'm always at my happiest at that time. And then, then after about two months or something, that you know, great feeling of, wow, I love my new face kind of wears off and then I'm always thinking about the next thing. If I have the eyebrow lift, it'll make my face very tight so I won't have any expression and I'll just look, you know, plastic fantastic. I need to change everything until I'm identical. Well, Lee has undergone 15 surgeries in six years. <laughs> and Bro, Dr. Phil is such a funny looking dude, man. I don't know why. he, The way he just operates, the way he carries himself, everything about this just like gives me a sense of comfort. It's just he, he's not trying to be funny, but he's just still funny. Change his looks. Now, something that he was bullied for growing up. When I was growing up as a teenager, I really struggled with the way I looked. I used to have very, very bad acne. I had such a big nose, my face was so round. He's the most cop looking motherfucker that's not a cop. It looked horrible. So when I would go to school, I would get teased, I would get bullied. Whenever I was dating someone, they would always cheat on me or reject me. And I always thought that was just the way I looked. So I thought, okay, I have to change that. Since I started having surgeries, I'm a totally different person. I used to be a shy, insecure boy next door. Such anxiety. Now I'm super confident. I can get on stage and sing my songs. I can perform. That's why I think plastic surgery can be a great thing because, you know, it can change your life. Okay, what is it that is so bad about you that you feel like you need to be somebody else? And you have to know that- the Wow, he's such a good doctor, dude. This is exactly the type of doctor shit that, that you know. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> Dr. Phil. <laughs> Uh, that's so funny. I, I actually, fun fact, this is like probably the longest Dr. Phil I've ever watched. To somebody else <laughs> that you're wanting to be is not really who that person appears to be. That's a manufactured, marketed image. Mm. I mean, I've, I've been unhappy since I was a teenager. You know, I used to get teased at school. I used to get bullied. And I moved to Korea in 2005. It's really good that uh, in order to no longer be bullied, they decided to become something that like, they just bullied themselves, you know what I mean? That's like, if I can bully myself, nobody can bully me. 13 and I fell in love with K-pop, fell in love with BTS, but it was Jimin in particular that became my absolute obsession. So I don't know, I've just never been happy with the way I looked, I was always insecure. So I thought, let me change myself. And now, you know, it's given me so much happiness, but I've, I've put myself through a lot of risks and I do admit that. But you're wanting to be a um, clone or a replica of someone else, which is an insult to you. No, I think it's a tribute to Jimin, actually, you know, it's- Wait, what the fuck? They do look like Kirsten Wig. Oh my God, what the fuck? Oh my God. Oh, I'm losing it. Oh my fucking Lord. Oh shit, dude. That's actually crazy. Oh, that's so wild. My man went to the doctor and was like, I want to look like Jimin. And then the doctor was like, best I can do is Kirsten Wig." <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Mom, I want I want to get a Jimin. We got Jimin at home. Jimin at home. This is Jimin. Damn, that's crazy. Or a replica of someone else, which is an insult to you. 
No, I think it's a tribute to Jimin, actually. You know, it's showing my appreciation for Jimin because I'm so in love with him. I'm so obsessed. So it's my appreciation for Jimin. So it's, I don't think it reflects badly. I'm not losing my who I am. I'm still the same person underneath. Well, you, no, you're not. You're, uh, you're dressed like him. Right, He's right. He's wearing silver. You're yeah, wearing this silver. Is very this similar. is a new look, right? This is my new look, the blonde hair, the plastic surgery. And I'm, I'm happy. Like, if you look at the pictures of me and Jimin, it's, we're identical. Christ. No, it's true. It's true. Uh, when I was in Korea, everyone calls me Jimin. When I'm walking down the street, everyone's like, oh my God, it's Jimin. It's Jimin. Like, everyone, they think I'm Jimin. And I, I, know, I'm, I know I'm identical. Don't you want people to walk down the street and say, oh, that's Ollie. I love his music. No, I love it when they say Jimin. Like, trust me, it makes me feel so good because I know I've done a good job. Absolutely zero people have ever said that. Wait, what's up with Dr. Phil? Do we got some full... A daughter's, da a daughter's dark confession, a family reaction. It's time to let my husband peacefully pass away. My wife's daughter is ruining our marriage. Our daughter is addicted to heroin and pregnant. Destruction of a young lady. I've never watched Dr. Phil. Sony actively DMCA's Dr. Phil. Right okay, we won't watch them then. Wait, how do you know that? This video is sponsored by Curiosity Stream and Nebula. Phil. It seemed like you enjoyed it well enough, and I wanted to make more Phil videos, uh, so that's what I'm gonna do right now talk about charlie's had issues with dr will oh hey uh he dmcas udpo reacted to someone's viz and they kept taking it down udpo okay i won't react to dr phil then fuck it Click my link, Azan. First deadliest computer viruses? Nah. Dude, I don't know what, what the fuck is wrong with me right now. I'm so tired. Oh my god, Cara Delevingne's house tour? Yes. Hi guys, we've met before, right? Hi AD, I'm Cara Delevingne and welcome to- I feel like, I feel like she's dating a uh, Queen's Gambit girl now, by the way. They posted together on Instagram. God, I'm such a fucking- Oh man, I love the tea and the spice. You know what I'm saying? I love her. I think she's great. Um. Anyway, yeah. Anya, whatever. my house. Leo, come on. Okay, yeah, I'll see you later. Be back by 10. Okay. This house is one of my favorite places to be. It's kind of like an adult playhouse, I like to call it. So we start off here. This is one of my favorite art pieces in the house. It's James Terrell on the big. Fetishizing WLW relationships. What? I said I love her, and I said I love Anya Taylor. I think they're in a relationship. Where is the fetishization coming from in that re with that respect? Like, did I say, oh my god, that's so hot that they're in a relationship? Is that what I said? I stated one thing that is not even a fucking fact, but I don't know. Dude, what is this like cancerous mentality, dude? Just shut the fuck up. Here, here, here's here's something you can do if you have like a take on this, okay? Suck my dick and shut the fuck up. Okay, just shut the fuck up. It's zero dollars. So shut your stupid, gigantic, dumbass fucking mouth, okay? It literally is zero dollars. You are not going to fucking get anyone to join your side. No one in this chat's gonna be like, oh my god, that person was so fucking woke. Let me whisper to that person so that I can be friends with them. Okay? Like, 
maybe maybe we'll just you know, maybe we'll be best friends about how fucking woke that person is like literally not a single person is going to think that okay you are just going to look like a fucking idiot okay please shut up big, big fan of it i just tend to kind of stand in front of it and stare at it but don't stay too long because you might start to hallucinate and as we go into this other room, this is kind of the main sitting room. If you look at the ceiling... I I'm like actively trying to turn people uh, away from fucking reactionary attitudes. And there's just motherfuckers either like inadvertently baiting uh, just to get my attention or because they have like just the stupidest fucking takes. Okay? Just the stupidest takes on the planet and think that everybody deserves to hear them. And you're literally operating against me to just like pissing... You know, pushing people away because they think this is what the left is. I really love the lattice work. It reminds me of being outside. And the Gucci wallpaper is also one of my favorites. And you'll see a continuation of that around the house. This is one of my favorite pieces in the room. It reminds me of being in England. I don't know why, with like horse straps, I suppose. We have a beautiful fireplace in here for the winter. A rotisserie chicken thing, which I've never used, but it was. This is a sick color for a fucking kitchen, dude. Part of the old house, but I. It will hopefully one day be used when I am able to get my family here for Christmas. That will be amazing. So this is the kitchen. I love that color blue. I think it's one of my favorite colors. What? You guys are saying it's ugly? You're crazy. It's sick. We have a massive pantry. So after the kitchen, we're going to go into the like main dining room. This house before, it was built in around the 30s, but before the guys who owned it, it was very black and white. And I wanted to lighten everything up, brighten everything up. And I... The only problem I have is the ugly ass wallpaper, dude. That's it's hella took ugly. One of the old art pieces from my first AD thing with my sister, and I put it in this house, the Chemical X. Um, shh, Alfie. That's me trying to be calm. Alfie, <laughs> come here, baby. It's okay. It's okay. This house is very hard floors, so when you step on the floor too much, it hurts your feet. That sounds so spoiled, and I know it is, but I got a little mini razor scooter so I could scoot from my bedroom to the kitchen. So now we're back into the drawing room. I call this the games room. This wicked, well, it's a see-through piano, which I like to play piano on naked because I've been alone in this house for a long time. So generally I would be naked, but obviously AD said no to that. So I don't know why. As we come over here again, Hugh Hefner is a big inspiration for this house. You know, this is kind of feels like my Playboy mansion. I was very lucky to work with my architect, Nicolo Binney, who I worked with on the last house. He made all of my mad, crazy ideas, which, you know, some things I thought he would say, we can't do that, or that's kind of crazy, but he made all of them come to life. I would say if I was Alice in Wonderland, he'd be the Mad Hatter. So this was probably the newest thing that he helped me create. I think I called him up one day and asked for this, and he genuinely made this happen. So this is my vagina tunnel. Shall I go through? I'm gonna go through. Oh God. Bro, why can't liberal Hollywood people just be normal, dude? Like, what the fuck is going on? People are saying, love it? Dude, y'all are... This is so weird, like... Shut the fuck up, this is awesome. What? And then you're inside. You wanna come in, Alfie? Come on, baby. I come in here to think, I come in here to create, I feel inspired in the vagina tunnel. So I'm gonna show you where- Why would you put a vagina tunnel in your house, dude? This lovely labia leads. See you there. Oh God, Leo. Watch out. Oh my God. Okay. What the uh, fuck? Shh. Oh, oh. <sighs> See, rebirthed and cleansed. Again, Niccolo made that idea come to life, which I never thought possible. I think that was kind of a test to see how far he would go, and he went there. This is another bed that we bought from the old house. The double bed bunk bed, which, you know, is great for if you have friends over, which again, I haven't been able to have, but one day. This is where we lead on to the other Gucci wallpaper, so I like the kind of continuation of this house, because again, it's kind of crazy, and there's Ian. She paid as Gucci? What the fuck? 
Again. Hi. This is my favorite bathroom in the house. This is the David Bowie shrine. So everything in here is David Bowie. I also like to collect Japanese puzzle boxes. Oh, wait a minute. Hi. Look at who it is. It's me and my sister and Andy. Thank you. Cute. Yeah, I collect Japanese puzzle boxes. So if anyone ever wants an idea for a present for me, that's what I should receive. <laughs> that's kind of a weird thing to say. It's kind of telling it on yourself to think that's weird. A vagina tunnel in your house? Oh, that's bait. Okay. Also, my Chanel surfboard. If I were to go surfing, I would only surf with Chanel. Sure. Ow, I mean, let's be real. Of course, like, if you go to someone's house and they have a vagina tunnel, you're going to crawl through it. Like, that's an experience that you have to, you have to literally experience. Right? Like, I get that. But also at the same time, it's like still kind of weird. It's still very weird. Like I, I would probably pe I probably feel weird about it that the person has it. Oh, this is my bedroom. Every time I walk in here, I feel calm again. Again, kind of the, with the theme of Alice in Wonderland, I have these like beautiful urns inside. I also have this wonderful piano by my bed, which makes me feel really happy because I wake up and I just play. This. What the fuck? Bro, she got two fucking grand pianos. What the fuck? That's crazy. Also, she got hella mirrors all over this room, dude. That's kinky. Not that like. You know, you didn't know that already because she has a vagina tunnel in her house, but. This bed. It's open. This is from my old house. It's again, huge. And the furniture from the old house as well. We also have these lovely. It's $510 per panel of wallpaper. That's nuts. That's crazy. Don't do that. Hey bouquet of vagina flowers. It's vagina appreciation. The theme of this house, it's not as in Wonderland. Every room has a different theme. But I, again, I feel like the theme of this is definitely like a Mad Hatter's tea party. But there's like jungle theme, there's Beverly Hills Hotel. There's like an old English style in here, but also very obviously typically. I, I'm recognizing that I don't simp for Cara Delevingne like I do for Kendall Jenner. Cause like if Kendall Jenner was selling this shit to me, I'd be like, oh my God, please tell me more about how how subversive and crazy your vagina tunnel is. Feminism, girl boss, gaslight, gatekeep, please, sweaty. Uh, you know, but when she's doing it, I'm like, yeah, it's kind of weird. LA and plants galore. So it's still jungle, but I definitely think it's a bit more mad. So then we go out of here. This is kind of my little like garden sanctuary. We have like all the plants and the lemon and orange trees. And we have these curtains you can kind of close if you want privacy. This is an extremely peaceful area for me. It's like where I go sit in the morning. if I need a script to read or something I need to get done. Oh, look at Alfie sitting on the bed like a good boy. These are his stairs. Or just my stairs if I need help getting into the bed. But she never know, it might happen. This is my wardrobe. Everything again, like I said, was very dark. So most of it was black and it was quite hard to see any of the clothes. So Cara Delevingne is for gay women. You wouldn't understand. This is true. I just decided to kind of paint it all white. So as we keep going through here, this bathtub is everything. The massive TV, you see this little walkway. It's quite scary probably for the gardener who sees me stark naked. I forget to put down the shade sometimes. And I have the steam shower, which is brilliant. This towel and chair. But the dog is a better life than me? Dude, the dog is a better life than me, motherfucker. That's not really saying much. The dog is a better life than most people. Being the dog of an incredibly wealthy, like, white lady in Hollywood, your life is significantly better than, like, 99.9% .9 of human beings. Straight up. His and her sink or a hers and her sink, you know, depending on my mood. This is my shoe cupboard, which is basically just trainers and trainers boots and like one or two pairs of heels. Why, bruv, I got fucking trainers, bruv. I'll shank you. <laughs> oh. Lots of stripper heels, which is great because that, that is not a stripper heel, dude. Okay. That's the. It's just the regular baby heel in comparison to what stripper heels actually look like. Very just comfortable. Saying. Yeah, lots and lots of boots and lots and lots of trainers, which again describes me perfectly. So as we go back through here, thank you, Leo, for guarding the door. Come here.
This pool table is such a beautiful color. It's obviously vintage and just obviously. stunning. I'm pretty good at pools, so watch out. Everybody. It blows my mind to see all this and think this person has all this because they're nice to look at. Well, I think they're nice to look at. And also on top of that, I think they... Um... Isn't she a bit of an industry plant? Like... Yeah, like big, big ass, uh, like a lot of uh, generational wealth in the family. They also come from a long line of bruv socialites. I mean, I think she's all right, like, uh, for, for her background. Like, it's not like a... She seems like a fine person. Her family's rich as shit. Her godfather's the head of Condé Nast. Her Wikipedia is insane. All blue names, lol. She signed with Storm Management after leaving school in 2009. Delavine won Model of the Year in 2012. Early life. Daughter of Pandora and Delavine. And property developer Charles Hamar Delavine. She grew up in Belgravia, London. She's two older sisters, Chloe and Poppy Delavine. And a paternal half brother, Alex Jaffe. Delavine attended Francis Holland School for Girls in central London until she was 16 before moving to the Bidgelist School in Steep Hampshire. She has dys dyspraxia and found school challenging. In June 2015, in an interview with Vogue, Delevingne talked about her battle with depression when she was 15, she was hit with a massive wave of depression, anxiety, and self-hatred. The feelings were so painful that I would slam my head against the tree to try to knock myself out. Okay, that's kind of sad. Delavine's godfather is Condé Nast executive Nicholas Coleridge. And her godmother is actress Joan Collins. Her maternal grandfather was a publishing executive and English heritage chairman, Sir Jocelyn Stevens. Okay, dude. Her grandfather, her great grandfather, literally set up hit squads to kill Irish rebels with Winston Churchill. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my fucking Lord. This is what the average British person is like. Like, if Aiden had a Wikipedia, it would read like this, okay? This is just how every British person is. Oh, I'm the, my grand uncle is Sir James Rothinghammer. You know, killed a couple Irish uh, rebel peasants back in the day. Was uh, awarded a piece of property. Oi, brav. <laughs> so Brexit crump and shire. <laughs> Read the personal life section. Openly pansexual, but has previously identified as bisexual. In 2015, she committed that she was in a... Oh my God, she was dating St. Vincent? I love St. Vincent. That's cool. That's a big dub, for sure. I love her. She's fucking awesome. St. Vincent. Dude, see, I listen to music, motherfuckers. I, I like her music and uh, also her vibes. See? We you going to new album? I don't fucking know. I haven't listened to it. Name her favorite St. Vincent song. Pff, zero shot. Uh, tired. Tired. 
Değil mi buraya de? Hayır. I'm talking, I'm talking to my mom. Hold on. Yeah, listen to music for Z say I don't fucking know. I haven't listened to it. No, I don't know. I don't know any songs. I never, I, I don't have good recall. Shut up. That's what I was going to fucking say before my mom uh, asked me a question. She was one of the women Weinstein went after. Read the fourth paragraph. Wait, really? Sexual harasser attempt to kiss her without consent. Jesus Christ. The tattoo of her lucky number, the Roman numeral seven. This is known as the talking to my mom technique. Why would I, guys, you know that I don't fucking, um, you know that like, I don't remember anything outside of like very weird, random political facts. If you think that I'm going to remember, like, a song from St. Vincent, aside from just, like, vibes, you're out of your mind. There is absolutely zero reason for me to fucking lie to you and be like, oh, I'm talking to my mom. Did you just, just say you lied about knowing St. Vincent and move on? No. Tara was a lot of Tumblr girl's first girl crush. You can blame her Tumblr. You can blame her for Tumblr radlib shit. Bro, ancestry? Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Bro, when you got an ancestry page on your Wikipedia, like. I mean, that's your stack. Everybody, this is my favorite cue. Wait, hold on. It's pink. And then I like to just kind of stand. What? I'm joking. I knew that was that. That was probably really bad, wasn't it? Anyway, this is a secret door. I love things like escape rooms. Uh, that was kind of a lot of inspiration for this house was like experiential. Again, like every room has a kind of different theme. So this is upstairs. This carpet is one of my favorites because you're just like following the tiger up the stairs. A lot of what this house was based on is like in my job and everything I do, I have to wear a lot of different hats. So I thought anyone who comes upstairs, you have to get a different hat. So, you know, there's a hat for every occasion. This is someone's personal favorite. Usually people come and claim their hat or people give me a hat, depending on, you know, which one shall I go for though? But this one would kind of match my look, right? Oh, chic. This is my favorite wallpaper. Have I said that a million times? This is Jonathan Yeo. He's an artist. He's an incredible artist who's done a few portraits of me. This is also my costume cupboard. It's not very neat, but it's pretty cool. You know, I just feel like everyone needs to change a little bit. When they're feeling a certain way, everyone needs to come up and just like get out of their heads and just have a laugh. This is the kind of like David Lynch inspired poker room. So welcome. This is where I take people's money and put it into the house. I'm pretty good at poker. My poker game of choice is Texas Hold'em, but I also, I got taught recently by my um, godmother, Joan Collins, some other poker styles, which I'd never heard of, like baseball. I haven't played before until I played with her, but she's very good at poker, so that's kind of funny. I did not know this, but I feel like if if you can, everyone needs to have a ball pit in a near vicinity. It doesn't matter what. Like. Like she has a fucking ball pit, dude. I, that's crazy. Come on. Come on, baby's first lesbian crush. Go ahead, defend this, you fucking Tumblr radlibs. It's like, maybe the first, like, five minutes of the video is like, oh, whatever, like, oh, the vagina wall, like, that's cute, whatever. But, like, after a certain point, you just gotta be like, okay, this is excessive, and it kind of fucking wild, and I don't know. Like, ridiculous.
It's a sex thing. Act like you've been there. Why would you want to have sex in a ball pit, dude? How age you are. The meaning I have from this house is you just never grow up. You know, always kind of maintain some sort of childlike innocence or joy or just the chatter who said opulence is correct.